Welcome to Top Step Funded Trader Interview. I'm Eddie Horn, and today uh, we've got one of our newest funded traders, Vince. Vince is going to be with us here today, but before we get to Vince, remember, have your pencil sharpened, ink in your pen, because taking notes does and will benefit you down the road. Let's bring him on right now. Vince, how are you? I'm fantastic. Good morning. Good morning to you, and uh, thank you very much for being on here with us today. And Vince, going through the program, got the 50K account, um, the Express account, and uh, making it happen. Yes, you are making it happen, my friend. Um, hey, you know what? Let's uh, let's get into what you're up to and who you are. Hi, my name is Vinny Mangisi, and uh, I'm from Long Island, New York, uh, United States. Small town, uh, Smithtown. Been here for years. Uh, grew up here, went to school here. Okay, so you're in New York, and we're here in Chicago, and New York, and Chicago. Yeah, it's you guys have good pizza. We have good pizza. Well, you guys, like, sort of fold the pizza, right? Yeah, yeah, you like, got to fold like it. Like a taco. So you wouldn't call it a pizza. you call it a taco, sure. Italian taco. <laughs> <laughs> what got you interested in this game we call trading? <laughs> I, I was actually in the uh, bar and restaurant industry for 20-something uh, years. And it was uh, December of 2019. I was just, I wanted to get out. And I was thumbing through some Craigslist posts. And I saw a post for uh, funded trading. It was with a different company, but it had a different path to get funded. It was more of an educational program. And you had to plunk down a ton of money, you know, thousands of dollars. And I just said that um, it just doesn't seem right because what if I didn't like it? You know, it wasn't for me. Now I just spent seven, eight, ten grand for the education. And right. uh, I came across Top Step, and I just realized that that was a, a, a more realistic way to get funded. Because after a month or two, I could decide it's not for me. I don't like it. And I'm out one or two months of subscription. That's it. Right. And just cancel if you don't like it. Yeah. And, uh, so it was a Craigslist post. And I, I watched a, uh, a tutorial, and I'm watching this guy with the candles, and he's making you know $60 in three seconds. I'm like, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> well you know and i know and you know that i know and i know you know it's it's not that it's not that easy but exactly um, you know there are days where it's like oh my goodness you know uh, i am a trading god um and then there's other days like you know nobody loves me right. um you know so i mean that's that's part of trading and, and you've got to you got to adjust um to get through these kind of days so Absolutely. um mm-hmm. what are you trading what products are you trading now and and why are you trading them? Um, I stick to ES and uh, CL. Um, I've tried uh, NASDAQ and, and once in a while I look at silver, but that's like, uh, you know, that's like uh, ES on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> silver is, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And well, definitely NASDAQ, but NASDAQ, yes. Um, yeah. You know, I, I, I used to trade the NASDAQ too, and it was, uh, goodness, it's it's just so fast and it's a beast. It's good, um, I've, yeah. <laughs> I've toned my uh, trading down to the S and P mini, and I'm having a good time. So you're trading the S and P minis. Yep. Okay. All right. How how much often do you trade silver? It, it hasn't been in a while. It's you know it was in the past when I would revenge trade and I was in a hole and I wanted to get out fast. <laughs> okay. All yeah. Right. yeah. But not not recently. Okay. But you are watching it here and there, keeping it on the side, right? Just in case something does happen. Yeah. Um, how long have you been here with Top Step? Oh boy, it's uh, it's been uh, two years and six months. I started in um, uh, April of uh, 2020. Okay, and I um, started the combine. And, and what combine size did you have then? Uh, the 50k. So you've been sticking with the 50k, the five lot. Right. Okay. How about indicators? Do you use indicators? Sure. Um, I use uh, just a couple of simple moving averages, the 300, and um, I have a 50 on my chart. Um, I keep the MACD at the bottom, but uh, then for my areas of interest um, that have like a lower risk uh, for entry, I like the VWAP and uh, pivot points. They're just real simple, straightforward, and seems to be uh, where there's a lot of buying and selling pressure in those areas. You know, I, I've been talking to a lot of traders. They've been using those VWAPs um, in conversation coming up. What makes those VWAPs uh, help you the most? Again, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's either support or uh, resistance that it just seems like a magnet, you know, that's where the the action is right around the VWAP. And uh, like I said, it's, it lowers your risk for entry, you know, if you get in around there, and it, the trade goes in the wrong direction, you can get out with uh, a small loss, your strengths and weaknesses, my weakness is cannoli. 
Yeah. Your strengths and weaknesses. Sure. So uh, my strengths, um, I, I, I learned to not over trade anymore. Uh, you know, I used to trade over 20 um, trades and now I'm down to, you know, under five. So I don't over trade. Um, I also don't trade, you know, past like uh, 11 a.m. I used to trade sometimes if I was in the hole till one, two in the afternoon. And that's just really not good for me to trade. I learned to keep uh, my emotion and pride out of trading. That that was a big one. Huge. Nobody likes to take a loss. You know, when you're in the hole, you have to just shut it down and say, bad day, come back tomorrow. So I, I learned that, that that's huge. Well, I was going to say your consistency. I looked at your trade report. Um, I mean, your consistency is, is top notch. Oh, um, that's good to hear. You know, why did, why did you, what cut you down from doing more prior was it uh more risk or did you see more failure or yes exactly i found that the more i traded the uh the bigger losses i had and the more i had now um by just uh small ball trading you know a little here a little there you know going up 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 a little setback up up uh i'm a little more consistent yeah. and uh <laughs> a little more stress free too <laughs> you know exactly and and that's what a lot of traders need to find out is uh, you know, I look at a lot of trade reports, talk to a lot of traders. They're consistent, consistent, reckless uh, right. for some reason, you know. But if you, you got to stay on that, and it, it's small ball. Right. Uh, you know, markets now today, um, you know, don't swing for the fence. You know, you got to uh, get on base. That's all you got to do. Get yeah, on base. That that's the style that works for me. I, I like it. You know, I'm, I'm getting into my weakness, uh, is the opposite of that. It's, uh, I, I, it sticks into my head that I have very little conviction of when I watch a setup and I'm like, this is definitely going to happen. And I, I, I get out of the trade too soon. That's my, one of my weaknesses. Um, I'm just no conviction to my setups and my reward to risk, uh, re reward to risk. I'm upside down. Uh, I'm, I'm risking, uh, two to make one and I need to swap that around and then I'll be more profitable. What do you think you need to do to, um, to get that to where you want it? I, I have to cut my losses down. If you look, my, my losses are, you know, they're bigger than my winners, you know? Right. And I hold, <laughs> I hold my losers longer than my winners. So that's, it's just, it's every trader goes through this. After two years, two and a half years, I've been conditioned to sometimes you enter a trade and you think there's a little man on the other end that sends your trade south. You know, every time I get into a trade, boom, goes south, right? And then you hang in there, you hang in there, you're in the hole, you're taking some heat, and then it starts to turn around in your direction. But as soon as you see green, you're like, that's it, I had enough and I'm out, right? right. And that's, that's what a lot of traders go through, but I need to hold on uh, to the trades a little longer. How about some words of wisdom? I know that we've got, uh, you know, uh, out there, new traders um, just hoping uh, to grasp, uh, grasp some knowledge of oh. sharing of Vinny. Yeah. Um, what would you share with a new trader? I would say the number one um, key for me was trading, uh, changing my attitude. My attitude was I got to pass. I was obsessed with numbers. If I can make 300 a day, I can pass in, two to, in 10 days. Don't be obsessed with passing. Take the opportunity to learn. I changed all that. Yeah, it took me uh, two years, two and a half years to pass uh, this last time. But I did that on purpose because what's what good is it to make it to a funded account if you don't know what you're doing? Yeah, you could do the YOLO and, you know, and go for it. And great. Now you're in a funded account. You still have no idea what you're doing. I'm still learning. and It's been two and a half years. I know people have been doing it 10 years and still learning. So I would say don't be obsessed with passing. Take the opportunity to learn. You're not going to get a cheaper education than, you know, the monthly subscription for what you're learning. It's, you've said it perfectly, too. Um, a lot of people are, are way ahead of themselves in trading, and and it gets them in trouble. It's, you got to cool it off and slow things down. Um, take what the market gives you. You know, yeah. um, th that's all you can do. It's it's a huge beast, and it's it's not worth the stress. It's not worth the anxiety. Um, you take what it gives you. Now, uh, Vinny, everyone's looking to continue to grow. Um, what are you hoping to continue to work on the most right now? Discipline, patience, uh, consistency, and focus. Um, I, I learned you, you cannot trade 
if you're you're not mentally there, if you have things going on during the day, whether it's a relationship or a different job or things that you have to do, things to get done. When you're trading, you have to be focused and that's it. And I'm, I'm learning to do that, to just not deal with and multitask. I'm focused on trading. That's it. 100%. 100% focus. You need it. You need it. Good job. Um, now, it said you were with Top Step for about two and a half years. Um, how were you able to make adjustments uh, when you went along uh, to get you where you wanted to be? You know, it's uh, you, it's classical conditioning. You just learn after a while that if something's not working, you have to make a change, right? And there were things that just weren't working for me. And I had to change, whether it was taking a look at, you know, jumping out of uh, CL for a little while and uh, taking a look at the ES. Because in the beginning, I stayed away from ES. I was frightened of that. You know, uh, crude oil moves a little more, a little slower and a little more consistent. And, you know, ES, like you said, is, is that's one of the beasts. And uh, now I love it. So I, I changed that. And that helped uh, looking that's at different instruments um, again. You know, having a, a different plan in the morning, maybe uh, getting up earlier, looking at the chart, the daily chart, see what happened, you know, the day before, the week before. Uh, I didn't do that in the beginning. I would just jump right in because the adrenaline and you're anxious. You just want to trade and make money. Now I slowed it down and I'm a little more patient and I and I look for better setups. Patience yeah. is a virtue. Patience, yeah. discipline, management. I mean, those are very the, the the boring three, but you've got to bring those with you every trade day. Right. Uh, you know, and even in life, you know, patience, discipline, management. All right, Vinny, I appreciate that. Now, it's uh, uh, for those that are you're listening. I mean, uh, a lot of stuff that Vinny's saying is uh, maybe stuff that you've sort of thought about or uh, have been have been using, and eventually you're going to see yourself progress. Uh, you know, forward. Uh, instead of spinning your wheels, moving left and right, you're going to start going forward. So I appreciate that, Vinny. Um, let me ask you this. Has Top Step made you a better trader? Oh, 100%. Absolutely. Um, you know, I listen to people uh, sometimes complain about the rules, but, you know, those rules are there to make you a better trader. They're not there to keep you down. It's not, it's, it's to make you a better trader. Without those rules, you know, you can go off and, and start your own uh, account and you're going to blow that up without having parameters and rules to go by. So 100 percent, maybe a better trader. Yeah. Yes. Very, very. So uh, what do you like most about Top Step? Um, so I said it earlier. I like the fact that you can just, you know, enter at a monthly subscription and you can decide whether it's for you or not. You're not laying out thousands of dollars to one day say this is not for me. Right. That's the biggest pro to me. Um, there's a lot of resources. There's a, a large community of support. Um, I just love it. You know, that I look forward to it every day. Yeah. And, and Vinny, we love you, too. We look yeah. forward to having you right. every day, Thank every you. day. Make money, make money. Fantastic. Make money. That's warm and <laughs> makes me feel warm and tingly. <laughs> it's good. That's good. There's a you mentioned the rules. OK, uh, I know of one of the rules that is the Grim Reaper daily loss limit yeah it's, it's a tough one um what one top step rule helped you the most that's the one i have it right there on my list the daily loss limit it's huge it, it's that huge. keeps you in check um you know for me uh for the 50k i try to keep it at a, a in the ballpark of a 300 dollar uh, loss limit you know and there are times where you that's the biggest thing is if you're not sticking to your plan I find when I go outside of that and I'm negative six, 700, and you see it start to turn yellow and red, right. you got to shut it down. I appreciate you being with us here, Vinny, uh, and uh, answering these questions and, and helping a lot of people out. Um, and, you know, what I wanted to turn the interview in uh, to is uh, besides trading, you know, a lot of people uh, behind the, behind the monitors, I'm behind, I'm, I'm on the computer all day long, all day long. You need separation, all yeah. right? It, it's only healthy. Um, you, you need to have set times. You need to go out, get fresh air. You need to go spend time with the family. Oh, yeah. is that so important? Yeah. Uh, but what do you do besides trading? Uh, so I travel a lot. Uh, that keeps me sane. I love to travel. Been to about 15, 16 different countries. Uh, actually heading to Curacao Wednesday. Um, and I play poker. 
which uh, anyone that plays poker knows there's a lot of similarities between trading and poker. All right. Vinny, thank you very much for being with us here today. Uh, before you go, I have that fun question. A fun oh, question great. I asked all my funded traders. And um, what is your favorite movie that you would recommend to your fellow traders? Oh, that's hard. You got to narrow it down to a, uh, you know, horror, comedy, drama. That's a tough one. All right. All right. How about three? How about a horror? Nah, I don't like horror. Okay. How about comedy? That's cheesy. Oh, comedy. Jeez, uh, man. I mean, Wedding Crashes was a good one. Is a good one. All right. How about drama? Uh, I love The Judge with uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. The Judge was great movie. One of his best, I think. Put those on your list for the next movie to see. Uh, Vinny from the East Coast. Yeah. New York. Uh, hey, Long appreciate Island. <laughs> Long Island. <laughs> is that where the iced tea came from? I tell you that. Yeah, drink is... it did. Yeah. A, a bar uh, nearby. Really? Yeah. The OBI. Oak Beach Inn. You know, I my family owned a bar restaurant, and I used to make those drinks, and I'd be like, what, all the white liquor? I got a bunch of white liquor here. Yeah. It's, it's like, what is gin, vodka, rum, tequila. They creep and, up uh, on you. <laughs> sneak a smack you upside the head. That's what it yeah. did to me. Yeah. But, uh, Vinny, thank you very much for being with yeah, us. Sure. Um, for those that are watching, listening, whatever, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, until we meet again, I'm Eddie Horn. Vinny, you rock, Vinny. Thank you very much. Ah, um, enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. I, I did too. Thank you. Stay focused. Stay positive. Trade well. Take care.